For anyone who thinks that the British film industry is on the rocks, you should check out this film, Rocks, because this film rocks. Hey guys, welcome to Marcus Loves Movies with me, Marcus Lee. Apologies for my terrible joke at the start of it, or what I like to call a joke, but I'm at an age where I find that stuff really cheesy and really funny. But this is my review of a film called Rocks, which has popped up on Netflix. And a lot of the films that I'm going to be reviewing at the moment are probably on Netflix because, let's be honest, lots of us aren't going to the cinema at the minute in the way that we used to. I myself am a Cineworld Unlimited card holder, which is a, a brilliant thing. I pay a monthly subscription here in the UK and I get to watch as many films at the cinema as I like each month. But you may have heard Cineworld has closed down for the foreseeable future because you know, lots of big budget films are being released, are being postponed, postponed until 2021. So Cineworld has had to close down. So I can't go to Cineworld like I used to. I'm having to pay full price to see a cinema film. So first world problems. But we are talking about Rocks, which has just popped up on Netflix. So it's directed by Sarah Gavron, director who also directed the films Suffragette and Brick Lane, which is quite a, a popular British film. And this stars Bucky Bakray, Fuzzar Ali, and a host of a host, whole host of other new actors, first time actors, and they put in some really great performances. When I heard about this film on the grapevine, I heard it was about young people growing up and a study of young people just growing up and trying to figure out life. Again, new characters, new actors, uh, improvised dialogue devised by the cast. So I thought, okay, that sounds interesting. And Sarah Gavron, you know, she's got a good track record. Let's check it out. But digging deeper, watching the film, let me tell you about it. So uh, the film focuses on a character called Shola, whose nickname is Rox. She's a young girl growing up, I'm, I believe it's London, growing up in London. She lives with her mum and her little brother, Emmanuel, and she's just doing standard standard living, teenager living, goes to school, comes home with a little brother, lives with her mum, her mum's a single parent, living life on the weekend, she spends time with her friends, other teenage girls, she's just living, it's all good. The drama really begins when one day she goes to school and she comes home with her little brother, she comes home and mum has left a note saying, hey darling, love you lots and lots, but I'm really struggling at the moment, so I can't be around at the minute, here is some money, just look after your little brother and feed him. So basically, mum has abandoned the family and we start off with this really terrible situation. So Rox then finds herself in a position where she's been left money from mum, which looks like it's, you know, the best part of, of £100 to buy food, groceries, to, to, to buy electric tokens and to protect her little brother. Rox is then in a situation where she's still going to school, she's still trying to see her friends, but she's trying to find out where is mum. So she does things like, she asks at the school reception, hey, has, has mum called in? She starts ringing around family members and says, hey, has mum been in touch with you for, for, for whatever reason? And all of this is happening while she's trying to protect the fact that her mum has disappeared. She's not letting on to any of those people that, hey, we've been abandoned here. Um, can, can you help her? She doesn't contact the police. She doesn't contact social services. She's doing all of this. She's trying to protect her little brother. She's still going out to buy groceries and still trying to find out what is going on. Up front, I'll say, I really liked this film. I, I thought this was a really beautiful film. Um, very, 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 very low key, quite slow paced. Probably not what you'd pick typically for a Friday night, but I just thought this was a really beautiful character study, if you like, on young people growing up and trying to live their lives. Often when we see young people on film now, you know, in terms of, you know, young people who are living in estates, living in high rise blocks, uh, you, you know, high rise flats and, and apartments, they often get a bad press, but this focuses on Bucky, who is no angel, but, not Bucky, sorry, on Rox, um, but Rox is no angel, but you get the idea that this is a girl who is just trying to do the right thing, very protective of her family. So while she's having this difficulty of, of looking after her little brother, she spends a lot of time with her, her mate called Samaya, who's played by, um, played by Fazar Ali, um, and her family, is of Somalian descent and her she's got quite a big family so uh, Samaya's got a big family so Rox gets to spend a bit of time with her little brother and with this bigger family and you get a window into 
what a supposedly normal family looks like or what Rox believes a supposedly normal family looks like, which is where everyone is friendly, everyone spends time with each other, there's music in the house, there's food in the house, there's different generations in the house, there's, you know, very young age, there's, there's, there's the older generation and people are happy together and looking after each other. And you get the sense that Rox just thinks, gosh, this is, this is what I want, this is what I don't have. I know in the year 2020, we keep talking about the new normal, but you get this idea that Rox just wants normal. Normal is the fact that mum is here. Normal is the fact that we've got food in the cupboards, that we're not worrying about what is around the corner. Um, the characters in this uh, are really well played. For these actors who were doing these first time performances, the great, really natural performances, like I say, if it's got a bit of a fly in the wall, a documentary style feel to it but these characters are very normal and you get the sense that some of this dialogue is probably improvised because I'm not sure of the um you know the the age of the writers but you know it's hard for someone who is say in their 40s to write dialogue for a 16 year old or for, for teenagers because this dialogue feels very naturalistic um this film also really made me feel something like on, on an emotional level because there's, there's moments in this film it's not a spoiler but for example there's a moment in this film where um rocks runs out of electric and you know because if you've if you've lived with a token meter anyone who's lived with an electric token meter you know what it's like that you've got to keep it topped up and then if you run out it goes into um emergency credit and then, you know, if you've got five pounds and you put five pounds on that meter, it doesn't necessarily go back to five pounds. It might credit you three pound fifty or something. And it took me back to a time when I was in my 20s and I was really struggling financially. And, you know, I didn't have much money. So in this film, Rox has a situation where the electric meter runs out. So she has to go stay with friends or she has to go find somewhere else to, to hang out because there's no electric in the flat where she lives. Um, I think about that when I ran out of electric and I thought, oh, right, I've got to go stay somewhere else now. And you think about all of those things that happen, like your fridge and your freezer defrosts, you know, you go into more debt because your emergency credit is, 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 is just, it's going to be more of an emergency when you come to top it up again, because it's not going to top it up to the exact amount that you top it up to. So it really got to me. And also as well, I think about the things that you go through as a young person. We sometimes forget that things that you go through as a as a child, as a young person, will stay with you when you're older. And thinking about this situation, I'm not going to tell you how the film ends because I don't believe in giving too many spoilers away. And I'm not going to spoil the ending for this film. Um, but you think about this situation, whether it's a happy ending or a sad ending, whatever happens, you know, the fact is in this film, Rox has been abandoned by her mum and so has her little brother and she has to deal with that. So 10 years later, 20 years later, 30 years later, you don't realise that chances are she's still going to be dealing with that. And the things that me and you have been through as a child, you know, good or bad, our experiences, we take them forward into our future. You know, I can remember some of the childhood holidays I had when I was very, very young. You know, you remember things like if you break an arm, if you break a bone when you're a young person, you remember that when you're older and it has an impact and on, on how you live and the stories that you tell. Those things are all quite minor compared to thinking I was abandoned as a child. I, I faced abuse as a child. I had this horrendous experience as a child. And that was that's what it made me think afterwards. Maybe I'm thinking too deeply, but the fact is a film should make you think on a deeper level um, as, you, as you get older. So rocks I, I highly recommend it like i say watching watching a film that you know doesn't necessarily if you're a person that likes explosions and you like high drama and you need your heart to be beating constantly um yeah right this might not be your usual cup of tea but i always encourage you to watch something that's not what you would normally watch because then you get to enjoy and appreciate a, a broader range of cinema it's a bit like eating your vegetables films like this Films like this might be a bit like eating your vegetables, right? You don't love your vegetables, but they'll be really good for you. And actually, you know, it's going to benefit you. This makes it sound like this film is hard work and it's really not. It's a really good film. It's an hour and a half, an hour 35, I think. Really, really good film. 
but watch it because I think you'll really appreciate it. It's like I say, it's a really good character study, really good performances. Um, I just, just definitely, definitely worth a watch. So my official Marcus Loves Movies rating for the film Rocks is, drum roll, four stars. If I'm being completely honest, it's not the greatest film ever, it's not the film of the year, but it's something that I think is worth a watch. So as always, I'm interested to find out what you think of these reviews, what you think about seeing this film rocks. Does my review make you curious or would you rather go and watch Fast and the Furious? If you've already seen this film, is it something that you enjoyed or is it something you tell other people to avoid? Please get involved, get in touch, leave a comment on this video, give this video a like, and if you like your movie, reviews and you want some movie discussion please subscribe to this youtube channel and also hit the notification bell so you're notified every time i release a new video thank you for watching check out the film and stay tuned for the next review but until then take care of yourselves thanks for watching